video. Today we're going to be making chicken steamed bao. Wanted to make this recipe for a while. Uh, so let's get started. We got one and one fourth of a cup of warm water in there. We have uh, dry active yeast, two and a half teaspoons. And we're going to add one teaspoon of sugar in there. And we're going to let that stay in there and start bubbling up and we'll be back and we're gonna add the dough when we get back the flour stay too. We let the yeast set in. We're gonna add in two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna whisk this around with two, two tablespoons of room temperature butter. You do two or two and a fourth. Mix it around. We're gonna knead the dough when we come back we'll show you what it looks like and then we're gonna cover it and let it sit for about an hour and a half to two hours covered stay tuned as we come back we just floured our surface we're moving our dough we're gonna knead it for about anywhere from five to ten minutes we're gonna put in a ball we shape it into a ball and we're gonna cover for about an hour and a half to two hours Meanwhile, while that is rising and covered, we are gonna work on our bow filling. Stay tuned, we'll be back. We rolled out our dough perfectly into a bowl. We're gonna put this in the bowl and cover it. We'll be back. back. After we had our dough sit for our about an hour and a half, we pressed it down and got all the air pockets out of it and uh, doubled in size. Now we have it here in a bowl. We're gonna make a straight line and cut like 14 to 16 pieces evenly to do our dough for a bow wrapper. We got our ground chicken here. And we're gonna add oyster sauce, soy sauce, a dark soy sauce, a little bit of adobo and a little bit of ginger powder. We have one cup to one cup and a half of onion. We have five scallions and we have 10 to 11 garlic cloves. We're gonna cook all this together first. And then we're gonna come back and season our meat with, we're gonna put our meat with one tablespoon of adobo black pepper, uh, one tablespoon of soy sauce, uh, two and a half te teaspoons of dark soy sauce, and one tablespoon of oyster sauce. We're gonna mix it together and add in one fourth of a cup of chicken stock to the mixture. And then we're gonna add our onions to it, our cooked onions and everything. And then we're gonna start putting in our filling into our bow. Stay tuned guys. We're gonna back, we're putting in our onions and a little bit of oil. We're gonna season this and get them nice and golden brown. And then after we're gonna add in our scallions and garlic. Stay tuned guys. We got our onions after we cook. Now we're gonna add in our garlic and our scallions. And we're gonna mix them all together and get them nice and brown. Stay tuned, we'll be back to making our onions and scallions and garlic mixture for the inside filling. We're gonna set that aside and now we're gonna start seasoning our chickpeak. We just added in our onion mixture. We're gonna add in one fourth of a cup, a little bit at a time of our chicken broth. We're gonna mix that in there. And when we come back, we'll show you what it looks like. Stay tuned. Right, we just mixed all our stuff together. See how juicy the meat came out. We're gonna add that to our dumplings or bow filling, I'm sorry. Bow filling. Stay tuned. Back, we rolled out our, our bow dough and we rolled it out um, and stretched it long. And now we're gonna cut pieces. It was even pieces, so we're gonna cut even pieces. guys we're gonna cover them so they don't get dry we sprinkle some flour on it and we're gonna roll these out and start making our bow steak come back so we're gonna start making it we flattened out our dough we rolled it into a flat circle we're gonna put in one spoon in the middle not too much just one spoon or a little bit more in the middle I'm gonna throw it in there like that Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch the sides with our left hand and right hand. We're gonna pinch it, keep pinching it, going all the way around. And then we're gonna pinch it again and keep pinching all the sides together. 
then we're gonna bring it all together and show you what it looks like. So back, we just wrapped our first bow. We put it here. We gotta put a piece of parchment paper under it. And we're gonna steam it after. Stay tuned. Guys, we just made our bow here. We're gonna steam it for about 20 minutes or so. And then we're gonna leave it in there for 15 minutes after we turn it off covered. So it doesn't shrink in size. And we'll show you what it looks like. Stay tuned, guys. Back, we just finished making our bow. Let's take a look at it. We just took it out. That's our bow right there, smoking hot. Ready to eat. Hope you enjoyed this recipe, guys. There'll be a lot more to come. Till next time, guys. Be safe. Take care. Bye.